I have more of an attachment to this play than any other Shakespeare play. It's timeless. It's a timeless piece. It's it's one of Shakespeare's, uh, one of his tightest plays. I heard that it's timeless. Yeah. First of all, everybody reads a Shakespeare and seeing one actually gives you like the full intentions of what Shakespeare's trying to portray. <laughs> My introduction to theater in general was just a, with Shakespeare. First play, first Shakespeare play that I really ever remember. And I hope that over the course of the evening, people fall in love with Romeo and Juliet and fall in love kind of for the first time all over again. I've done this, I've done this play before and, and I would do it a hundred times again. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet is the greatest love story ever told. It is a love story, but it's also a great piece of civil war. It's it's one of those pieces of literature that you know, you know the story of it. Truly some of the most brilliant writing of any time period. Uh, not and not just, just playwriting, playwriting either, it's just, just poetry. poetry. And it's a play with timeless uh, struggles, things that uh, every person, regardless of class, background, cultural makeup, we can all relate to these things and that's what makes it so enduring. It's just a lot of fun and it's not as serious as, as everybody always thinks it is. Uh, there's kind of a, a different Romeo and Juliet out there for everyone and we felt that this story in February around Valentine's Day would be the perfect showcase for what the Long Island Theatre Collective does. It's my favorite play and I just, uh, I, don't, I don't have anything else to say.